It was tough to say goodbye to Jackson, but the totem pole is full of twists. And here's another. The four eliminated players so far are about to battle it out. The winner of their challenge will be returning and playing amongst you guys. Someone's coming back into the game. I hope it's not Hannah. I'd rather than not. <laughs> That's just another person I'm gonna have to, you know, get rid of. I'm really worried that this twist is gonna bring either Jackson or Hannah back into the game, and I think either one of them could be a threat to me. If Hannah and Jackson come back, they're definitely gonna come for me. This is your one and only chance to return to the totem pole. In this challenge, you will run up and grab one block at a time from the white bucket and build up your totem pole. You have two minutes to build your totem pole. At two minutes time, your totem pole is locked in. If you choose to lock in before the two minutes, you must raise both hands and say that you are locked in. And after everyone is locked in, the person with the most blocks in their totem pole will be able to return to the game. Good luck. On your mark, get set, go! You have a minute and a half remaining. There are 30 seconds left. I'm locked in. Come on. Locked in? Ladies and gentlemen, we have a winner. Hi, everybody! <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Did you see everybody's faces? And you go walking here, like everybody's just so glad that you're back in the game. Well, next round, she'll probably get blurred out again, so you know I'm not really worried about it. <laughs> I'll vote Janice every time. I don't want her coming back again. What did I do? So I don't know why everybody's really upset that I'm back in. Congratulations top 10 for making it this far. Congratulations Janice, it's great to have you back. This is the next challenge. This is more or less. In a predetermined time, you will have a chance to study 
each of the pictures on either side of the table. We will ask questions once the time is up and you'll have to answer whether there are more or less things in a picture. If you guess incorrectly, you are out. The last person left will be the new top of the totem pole. On your mark, get set, go. We only have a few moments to memorize two photos. After we're told to stop, we have to answer questions. The answer will be either more or less. If you get it right, you get to move on to the next round. nervous about this whole memorization thing um, like is he gonna ask numbers is he gonna ask colors I just don't know what to memorize I mean I don't really have a good memory I'm gonna try like I don't I don't really look at the little things so it's hard for me to memorize stuff like unless it's like important three two one your time is up Look away from the cards. Question number one. Are there more or less than 12 coffee beans on the savor and sip photo? Even though everyone's not super excited that I'm back in, I'm gonna do my best to make sure that I stay in this time and I'm gonna try to win. There are more. Allison, Garcelle, you are out of this competition. Question number two. Are there more or less than four S's on the Saber and Sip photo? Dia, please show us your answer now. No, I'm indecisive with a lot of things. My school, in my life. So I'm gonna bring it to the game too. Kadia, please show us your answer now. The correct answer was less. Nick, please sit out. Are there more or less than five levels to the milk leaf in the coffee? The answer is more. You are all correct. Question four. Are there more or less than four totem poles on the logo photo? I, look, more or less, I'm gonna just pick one and hopefully it'll be right, but it's been going good for me so far, so I'm gonna just keep doing it. And you know what? Jesus has everything in store for me, so I'm gonna just let him lead me down this path of righteousness. Okay. The answer was more. If you selected less, you are out. It is time for the tie-breaking question. The answer will be a number. In the living room, there is a case with keys hanging inside. Each key is numbered. What number key is in the bottom right-hand corner of the frame? One at a time, you will come whisper your answer in my ear. The player that gets the closest without going over will be the top of the totem pole. I don't feel like I really have to win this, but my competitive nature just says go for it. The top of the totem pole is... Tim. I like that I'm safe. I'm worried about placing people. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do about that. I don't really want to be the top of the totem pole this round because that puts a lot of pressure on you, and so I'm fine with losing at the end. Congratulations, you are the top of the totem pole. You may now choose from top to bottom the rest of the totem pole. Garcelle. 
Yes, Tim is the homie. That's the day one. He's my closest ally. Yes. Allison. Because me and Tim, you know, we've kind of had a little history, but not really. I mean, he's kind of been out to get me since the game started, so. I don't know why I put Chandler down there. I just looked over and was like, okay. Chandler, you are currently at the bottom of the totem pole. You may choose to switch. Okay. I'll switch with Alice. Yeah. Can I? You choose a switch. Oh! Yeah. Mason. I feel like Mason will help my brother out, so I'm going to put my trust in him. I'm going to use this switch to get myself immunity to be safe from the vote. Nick, if I switch you and Chandler, will you trust me to be the defendant? I've worked with Mason to get Jackson out. Sorry, Jackson. I hope I can trust him. Yeah. Okay. I'll trust you. So I make a challenge. <laughs> that's what you get for saying my name. Put, put him at the bottom of the telephone. Do it. He belongs at the bottom of the telephone. Cause you know what? He needs to be at the bottom of the. He needs to be put in his place for like a, a yeah. Mhm. Mm <laughs> Nick, you are sitting at the bottom of the totem pole. You may now choose your defender. Mason made a deal with me, so I hope he follows through. Mason, will you choose to take the power or to save the bottom? I'd be lying if I said that Nick wasn't a threat at this point in the game, so... I'll choose to save him. Yes. The bottom of the totem pole will select someone to battle. The loser of the battle will be eliminated. I was at the bottom, you better not pick me to battle. Please don't pick me, please don't pick me, please don't pick me. Knowing him is probably gonna be me. Cause you know what, he just like throwing me under the bus. Gee. What, now you're gonna pick me? <sighs> Gosh, he's gonna hate me. Nick is so fake for that. I don't understand why he picked me. Okay, I, I had a gut feeling when he had to pick who's gonna look at me and say, G, you're not cool enough to call me G. Fix Carcel. How did you feel about that? It wasn't me. Carcel, Nick, the loser of this game will be eliminated from the totem pole for your 21 diamonds. During your turn, you may pull one, two, or three diamonds. The player that pulls the last diamond will be the winner and will return to the totem pole. Honestly, I don't have a strategy to win against Garcel. I've seen games like this play before, so I'm hoping I'll figure it out as it goes on. Um, best of luck. I've never seen those blocks in my life. I have no idea what those are.
but I am gonna do whatever it takes. I am not taking this L, I am not leaving this game. I'm gonna win this and I'm gonna beat him. He's gonna feel like, dang it, shouldn't picked her. back because I picked him to go to the bottom to build that trust with him so I really hope he comes back. I need Garcelle to come back. She is one of my main people. She has been playing an awesome game and I think it's a great idea to have her on my side. Nick has been iffy so I just really need Garcelle to come back. totem pole. Thank you. But this is the totem pole and there is a twist. You have no time to strategize and we're going to vote now. Out loud. twist in the game. We're about to vote out loud on the spot. So pretty sure I know who my vote is already going to be. Denise, who do you vote? Being forced to vote out loud, I just don't even know what I'm going to do. I just hope that where I cast my vote ends up being the right way to go. I vote for Micah. Micah, who do you vote? I vote Janice. That can't be there, huh? Tim, who do you vote? You find yourself in a hole, you have to keep digging. I vote Chandler. Allison, who do you vote? I vote for Chandler. Emery, who do you vote? Uh, I vote Kadita. Mason, who do you vote? I vote Allison. <laughs> Nick, who do you vote? I vote Kadita. Sorry, be one for Sorry, Nick. Two times in a row. It's okay. I got you next time. If I'm, if I'm there next time. Kadia, who do you vote? I vote Denise. Uh, I didn't really know who else. I should have voted for Nate here. <laughs> Chandler, who do you vote? I vote Denise. Janice, unfortunately you have been voted out. 
again. At this point, you may say your goodbyes. Next time on the totem pole. I'm trying to move my way up this ladder, and the only way I can think of doing that is kind of like throwing Allison under the bus a little bit. Because that last save is gone, the switch basically can eliminate whoever they want. If, we, if you get voted out the first time, what make you think you're not gonna get voted out the second time? I was hoping you weren't gonna do it. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Garcelle, I love you. You know I didn't mean it. I'm so sorry that it had to happen that way. I didn't know what I was doing when I was playing the game. So, I hope there's no hard feelings. I'll miss you. That was my shot. Oh, I got strapped by the girl. Um, I'm so, I'm mad and sad that you got kicked out of the game. But you know what? I'm a... I'm gonna revive you and make sure that I win for the both of us. Cause you know what? We gotta prevail.